Pi. Here you can see our Office 365 module is installed. For entering credentials go to Settings and then click User and Companies. Here you can see Office 365 menu click it. See here you will enter credentials that is redirect URL, client id, and client secret related to your Office 365 account. For that go to Azure portal, here you will create a new application, here I am going to enter its name, Odoo Office Demo, and then select support account, here you will select third option which is for multitenant and for any directory, redirect URL is option so we will enter after doing that. After doing that just click register button, after clicking button wait for a while, then here you can see our new application is created and our overview page is visible to us here you can see a lot of things like client id etc copy the application or client id by clicking copy button and go to your Odoo Office 365 settings and past your id here, see we just replaces the old one. Then go back to your portal and here we are going to enter redirect URL, by clicking redirect URL new window will appear and here you will enter your redirect URL which should be start from HTTPS, so in my case I am entering just a dummy URL with some port number, just copy your URL and save your redirect URL for future use and go to Odoo settings and replace the older one. Now it is time to create a secret or a client secret for that go to Azure portal, select certificates and secrets, here you can see we can upload our certificates but it is not our concern, go to add new client secret, for that name that secret, in my case I am going to enter demo secret and select its lifespan, I'm good with never, save it, then copy it, go back to your Odoo settings do the same as we did, just replace the old one. After doing that click the activate button to create connection between Azure and Dodoo. After clicking the active button see our connection is successful, here we done with the connectivity. Now we are going to generate token for that go to office 365 settings menu. Here you can see login URL and code, login URL which is auto created by Odoo from your given credentials. Click the login URL here you can see new tab is open go to that tab, wait for a while till it will successfully loaded in, wait for a while, see we are already logged in account, here you can see my account, in redirect URL you can see the code variable with some value we will enter this code, in Odoo Office 365 settings code, for that copy that code and paste in the code field after doing that, just click the generate token button. Here you can see a successful pop-up. Now we are going to test our functionality, for that go to settings then go to users and companies and select the user for option go to the administrator user and go to office tab here you can see some auto fill fields, here you can see Odoo automatically detected our office account, after that, here you can see some other tabs, let me open calendar first in my office account. Yes here in Odoo you can see some other tabs to i.e office calendar with some buttons, similarly office mail and contact with some other fields to same case with the office task tab. Now I'm going to create some event in Odoo for that let me open a new tab for Odoo to handle it efficiently, here I am going to calendars and select the month view to make it for visible and easy to understand, let me select the 29th of the month and name that event, for testing purpose I am writing demo event from Odoo calendar, here are some other fields like attendees, tag, duration and many more, let me to change its duration from 24 to 5 hours and some location too, in my case I am going to select UK, yup enough, go to other tab to sync Odoo calendar with office just click this button and wait for a while. Go to office calendar here you can see our event is also reflected here, see it's also hovering the details, now we are going to create an event in office for that go to respective date. Click on it, ops let's click it again, yeah, here we go, add some description to it, like in my case, demo event from office 365 calendar to Odoo calendar, here you can see some other fields too, majority are similar to Odoo. Just save it, 
Now go to Odoo and click other button which is sync calendar from office and after clicking wait for while, go to calendar and refresh the Odoo calendars tab, wait for while, it's loading. 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 Yeah here we go. Select the month view to make it more visualize, see here is our event against 28th of the month. Now we are going to test the mail functionality i.e sending email from Odoo to specific customer or contact and the get the reply from that customer too. Before doing that let me open office mail and make it fresh for testing and similarly open demo user gmail account for more detailing and better understanding here in gmail I am entering the gmail account credentials and signing in. Now it seems to all set. Now go back to Odoo because we are going to create a new customer whose name is demo user after doing that let me assign a valid email to that user for that I have an email which is wajahot.teclois at gmail.com and after giving required values just save that user. Let me clean my office account for better understanding go back to Odoo and create a dummy message, wait for a while, yeah just a normal length text for test purpose and send that message. Now after sending go to office mail account and go to sent mail here you can see our email has been sent now go to user dummy account which is in gmail here you can see dummy email is received, yup going good, let me reply this email for testing purpose and use some built in messages and add some mine to and send this, after sending the email successfully, go back to your office account, refresh the account, what happened? Let refresh it again. Here we go, here you can see our reply is received similarly go to Odoo and click the import customer mail button, after doing that wait for your while and go to respective customer and refresh the tab, after refreshing wait for a while to make it loaded and after that see here is our email received successfully. Now we are going to export the customers from Odoo to Office for that first open people in Office and in Odoo we are going to create a new contact for that click the create button and the name of that contact, make it funky, wait because it is lengthy yeah, after that enter its email, ops what is happening here, yeah here we will enter an email, let add some more data, enter phone and mobile number 2, yeah it's look okay, okay. Go to other tab and click the export contact to office and after clicking wait for your wall and go back to office people, here we go, here is our exported contact. Now we are going to export contact from office to Odoo or in Odoo case we are going to import contact from office for that we are going to create a new contact in office, name it, for some testing purpose, assign some email to it, after doing that save that contact. Now go back to the Odoo and see in contacts there are just these contacts now go to admin user to import contact from office click the import button wait for your wall and go to menu and select contact here you can see our imported contact. Open that contact C, now go to settings and then select users and company and select administrator and go back to office tabs now it's time for that tasks. Now go back to contacts and select any contact from them in. I am selecting administrator and going to create a scheduled task, after clicking create here you can see multiple option here select to do and add some description and save it, then go to task menu and click export button after clicking wait for a while and then go to office account and open to do task for that go to menu and select to do task, see it is opening here wait for that, wait, wait, wait. Here you can see our created activity synced successfully. Now I am going to create a new to do task in office, name that activity and add some option from right side see there are multiple options too. Save that task and go back to Odoo and click the import button and after clicking wait for a while, now go back to administrator contact there you can see our task is imported successfully. In above to do icon also showing to do